Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be making a lovely chicken chow mein with lots of vegetables, a nice healthy meal and it is delicious. So, en so enjoy the video and if you do like it, do give it that thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media to let them all know about the channel. And if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel. It's free of charge and it will just let you see the, the videos that I bring out every week. And if you hit that notification bell, it will give you a little reminder of when the videos come out so you don't miss any. So enjoy the video. You just want to cut some garlic up. So just get the flat of your knife and just give it a little bit of a hit and that frees up the skin from the garlic. So it makes it easier to peel. Okay, so just chop your garlic up, fairly small, and you want to put that into a bowl. So into your bowl with the garlic, you want to add some dark soy sauce, about two tablespoons of dark soy sauce, and four tablespoons of light soy sauce. Now you don't have to do this, you can just buy any kind of soy sauce that you can see in the supermarket, but I like to mix the two. Now you can add some kind of flavour oil. I use sesame oil. You can use fish oil if you wanted to. And I'm going to put two spoonfuls of this in. We're just going to cut some chicken up. Now I always do it with the scissors. Make sure you wash your hands before when you're dealing with raw chicken. And just put it into your bowl. So little squares of chicken. Now you can obviously cut this with a knife on a chopping board, but you should have a separate chopping board for any raw meat. But I always just do it with a pair of scissors because I just find it so much easier. And we'll just give this a mix around and you can cook this straight away of course, but it's extra nice if you actually marinate it by leaving it in the fridge for at least an hour or maybe even overnight. Right, so we'll just cut some red onion up. So cut it in half, peel the skin off. And then you cut off, not the root end, but the other end. And I like to cut half moons. So you get these lovely shapes of, for the onions. And I'm just cutting the three spring onions up together. So obviously cut the ends off. And you want to cut this diagonally. Now we've got here some pak choy and you just cut this up. Right, we want to cut some leek up, so we'll just cut the ends off. And again, we'll cut this diagonally across the ways like this. Now I'm only doing a small amount of each vegetable because I've got a large variety, but you can put whatever veg you want in this. These are just some suggestions. Now I've used some of the green bits, but I'm gonna use some of the white bits as well. So just cut your diagonal and then you're left with these nice shapes. Okay, so I've got sugar snap peas here. So you just cut the ends off and then again, cut diagonally across like that. So as you can see, we've got these lovely shapes. Right, so now we have some marge too. Right, so you can just get a few of them together I and mean, you don't have to be doing them individually and then just cut the ends all off in one go. And then just cut them diagonally all together so you can get a whole pile of them done. And cut it in half lengthways, as if you cut this in half again. So you're left with this shape and then cut it diagonal. So then you're kind of left with this shape, little buttons. So to keep it nice and stable, make sure that your fingers are bent, hold the carrot that way and you cannot cut yourself if your knuckles are bent. Feels a bit awkward at first, but it is a safer way of doing it. So I'm just going to cut a bit of cauliflower, just into small pieces. All right, so now we're just going to get some spinach. You can just put the leaves in whole if they're quite small ones like this, or you can just give it a little rough chop. When I get the spinach out the garden, they're massive. These are little baby ones out the shop. I'd love to hear in the comments if you grow any of your own vegetables. And if so, what do you like to grow? Broccoli is such a healthy vegetable, but this dinner is so healthy. The then we want to cut some red pepper. I mean, there's no right or wrong way of cutting the vegetables. I'm just showing you some ways of, that you can do it. 
Now I like to use a bit of red cabbage because that's a lovely vibrant vegetable and I just chop it up into small pieces. Now I just get a, a spoon with some holes in to kind of drain some of this juice out and you're going to fry this chicken and garlic in a nice wok and then the rest of that juice can be used when you're cooking your vegetables. So as I'm cooking this in olive oil for the healthier option but if you don't mind the occasional bit of saturated fat then coconut oil is delicious to cook your chicken in. Now if you don't have a wok you can do this in a large pan but I would recommend buying yourself a nice wok. So much easier to do things in. Right so after about 10 minutes of cooking you can just take this out and put it into a bowl. Just turn your heat off while you're doing this, just for safety, because otherwise it might spark up at you. Now I'll turn my gas back on and you're going to add your onions. Then you're going to add your carrots, your broccoli, cauliflower, your sugar snap peas and your red cabbage. Then give these a mix around. Then add any remaining juice that you had left over earlier with the soy sauce and garlic. And it's much easier if you have two wooden spoons. It's a little trick that somebody taught me. It makes it much easier to toss around the vegetables rather than just trying to do it with one. It's so much easier to do it with two. You've got more control. So let this cook for about five minutes. Then you can add in your red peppers the marge too and your leeks. See all these beautiful colours, they work so well together. I mean I'd love to hear in the comments what kind of vegetables you like with yours. Of course you can do it without the vegetables and just have the chicken. Or you can just have chicken and broccoli. You just want one vegetable with it. Or chicken and carrot. Let me know what kind of combination you like. Or do you like it like I do and just have loads of vegetables in it because it's absolutely flavoursome with all this in it. Now after you've added your peppers and everything in, let this cook for another five minutes on a medium heat. If you find it's getting a bit dry, add a little bit of sesame oil or a bit of soy sauce again if you like. And maybe even a bit of olive oil or coconut oil. Now just before I add the final few things, I've got a pot of water on at the back here and that's to cook some noodles. They only take four minutes to cook. So place them in some boiling water. Now while that spaghetti is cooking, you want to add your pak choy, your spring onions, your spinach. Now obviously depending on how crunchy or cooked you like your vegetables, you can cook a bit longer if you don't like them too crunchy. But of course the nice healthy way of doing it is to have a little bit of a crunch to your vegetables. After two minutes of those vegetables, add some bean sprouts. Now these, these are optional, you don't have to have bean sprouts in, but I, I just think this gives it a nice crunch to your chow mein and a lovely flavor. And I know a lot of people love to put mushrooms in their chicken chow mein because chicken and mushrooms and vegetable would go really well together but I just don't personally eat mushrooms so I don't use them in any of my cooking but I'll tell you about it then you can add your chicken back in and as you can see there's some juice in that chicken so that's all going to be poured in there and this is basically ready apart from the noodles I mean you don't even have to have noodles you could just even eat it like that if you wanted to but it's nice with the noodles. Now I didn't put salt or pepper in here because I just think there's so much flavour going on here you don't actually need any salt and pepper. And so after you drain your noodles you just add this into the chow mein. And this is definitely where two wooden spoons comes in handy. It's so much easier to mix this. Right so we're just going to dish this up in a plate. So again take two spoons and that's the easiest way to dish it up. Mm. 
Thank you for watching today's video on how to make chicken chow mein. So I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to doing lots more videos for you. Thanks for watching.